everyone, it's me, Jayski Bean, and welcome to Antumbra. This game, it's it's um, it's on the web GL or something like that. It's on itch.io, game Joel. Anywhere you look, you'll probably find it. Oh, there it is. Warning, this game has content which many could find offensive and or disturbing. Also, the game is very hard and unforgiving, so don't be surprised to have trouble solving the riddles. This is not Flappy Bird or Casual Genocide. In order to finish it, you will need to think outside the box. Don't get used to any rules of the game as they constantly change, bend, and twist. Think of it as the Dark Souls. Ah, it's just like Dark Souls! of adventure games. You will fail over and over, get used to it, it's fine. Everything you will experience is exactly as planned. And remember, there's always a solution. Click. Oh, okay. You woke up in a dungeon. It smells like death itself. You hear distant sounds of scratching and is heading your way. What do you do? Uh, run the other direction. As you run down the corridor, you find yourself in a metal vault. You can hear something running behind you. If you don't act fast, it'll reach you. There's no act fast option, so I'm gonna take this time to try and think outside the box and look around. Is there anything else here? Okay, is there anything here at all? Ah! Yeah, that looks like a clicky clue. This appears to be a door switch, which you can, which you quickly pull. Doors behind you close, and you hear a strong bump and a loud inhuman scream. Cool, let's go forward. The reality around you bends and twists. You find yourself in the middle of a forest. There is a path leading forward, but someone's in your way. He's wearing an odd mask. It's not a mask. Okay, let's go. The mask, the man speaks. Don't go there, please, you can't. You will be hurt. I won't let you. I love you so much. You're everything I have. Oh, I'm, I'm still gonna go. Oh, he just says it again. Okay. Oh, my nose is so itchy. I'm gonna punch him. You punch him in the mask face. He takes the punch. His eyes bleed. You feel a sudden rush of satisfaction. You want more. Well, let's just give him more. You kick him in the stomach and he bends in pain, but quickly recovering to his initial stance. Blood is pouring down from underneath the mask. It feels so good. He slices his throat. He chokes and gags on his blood, yet remains standing in your way. Just die already. Kill him. Break his neck. His neck snaps like a dry branch. He never- he died. He's still standing, even after death. But he is an obstacle no more. Ecstasy overwhelms your mind and body. Let's go. You come to a crossroad. There's something in the dark. You can hear it moving beside you in the bushes and trees. Uh, let's go left. Through the bushes and trees, you come across a small cottage. The presence is walking around the house, ensuring no one will pass. Uh, let's go to the house. You take a step forward and the creature instantly blinks right in front of you. It is away from your face. It doesn't interact, but its eyes stare at you. You feel uneasy. Suddenly you find yourself in a weird void. I am pride. Bow before me. Kneel and beg. Ask for forgiveness. Speak. You disgusting maggot. Describe what a wretched pool of vomit you are. Go to hell. We are in hell, silly willy. Your own private personal hell. Oh, okay. I am stupid. Of course you are. You're a brainless, mindless bag of meat and bones. My mother never loved me. You bet she didn't. You're a disgrace. You ruined her life. I have no future. Oh, of course you have. A bright one. You l <laughs> you'll live doing pointless things and you'll die. Leaving behind nothing but rotting meat and bones. You'll die unmissed, unnoticed. I'm weak and miserable. Huh? What can you repeat that? I'm weak and miserable. What'd you say louder? I can't hear you. I'm weak and miserable. I said louder. I'm weak and miserable. That's the spirit. Ready to die? Go to hell. We are in hell, silly willy. Oh, okay. I guess yes, I'm ready to die. Then I grant you death. You're free from a time. Broken and bleeding. Crawling at the bottom. Now you have the chance to rise beyond. See you soon. Go to hell. Oh, fine. I'll die. You woke up in a dungeon. It smells like death itself. You hear... Oh, I died. Okay, so there's no way to get past him. Uh, let's go back. You can't. The doors are locked. Let's go right. You enter a hallway. There are dozens of doors both sides of the corridor. At the end of... At the end, you see a wall of water? Observe. The liquid wall is still far away. Corridor is silent. You hear only your own breathing. You move deeper into the hallway. As you step, all the doors burst into violent knocking and bumping. You feel endangered. The liquid wall is still far away. All the doors are knocking and bursting and bumping into the enraged by your presence. Let's step forward. Move deeper to the hallway as you stop. All the doors burst into a violent knocking and bumping. You feel endangered. Let's observe. Still far away. Okay. Deeper. There's still. Okay. Around the middle of the corridor. Let's keep going. Deeper to the hallway. Uh. You almost reached the end. All the doors are bursting. Let's go back. Uh. Okay. I'm confused by that. What happens if you don't go back? You enter a hallway, it doesn't- okay. Boop. Oh! Oh! Shadowy manifests in front of you and they kill it. Okay, you're dead. 
Shadowy being manifest in front of you quickly starts tearing your body like paper. You die in agony, James, being butchered alive. Okay. Okay! Uh, well, let's, let's try again. Okay, so don't move too far. So you move five times. I want to say to the right. Observe, look, we're all still far away. Oh, no! Do you have to observe before you move every time? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try observing every time. Around the middle. Oh, no, it didn't do it. It didn't work. Okay, fine. Maybe we don't do anything there. I'm just going to, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try something else real quick. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to go forward. I'm going to kill this guy. Do I have to kill him? Can I just click on something else on the screen? I think I have to kill him. Okay. I don't want to kill the man. Uh, okay, let's go. Crossroad, there's something in the dark. Uh, let's go right. As you follow the path, you encounter a child standing in the middle of the road. He's your son. He's crying. His eyelids are sewed with barbed wire. Ah! Um, let's rescue him. As you move towards your mutilated child, a runic barrier flashes before you. Barbed wire spews from your son's eyes, quickly covering his whole body. Uh, rescue him. You cannot force yourself to cross the barrier. You're helpless, worthless, a pitiful excuse for a father. Daddy, why won't you help me? Daddy, I'm scared. I hurt so much. Rescue. You cannot force yourself to cross the barrier. You're helpless, worthless, a pitiful existence for- Oh, well, what do I do then? Well, I guess let's turn around and leave. You hear only your own breathing. Let's step forward. Move deeper in the hallway. As you step, all the doors burst into a violent knocking and bumping. The liquid wall is still far away. Corridor is silent. You only hear your own breathing. Oh, so you have to wait till it gets silent. Okay. Okay. Okay, feel endangered. All the doors burst into violent knocking and bumping. Enraged by your presence. Liquid wall is still far away. You only hear your own breathing. Okay, I got it. Okay, so I'm going to only move when I hear my own breathing. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, bursting, knocking, and bumping. Only my own breathing. Deeper, all the bursts into blah, blah, blah. Almost reached the end, they're bumping. Almost reached the end, they're bumping. Almost reached the end, well, only my own breathing. Okay, let's go. Ah, yes, you're underwater. At the bottom, surprise, you discover that you can breathe. Water strangely thick, like fresh jelly. It also has a very foul taste. Uh, let's swim up. The beach is covered with dead bodies. You notice none of them have a face, just numbers burned into their skin, where the face is supposed to be. Your clothes are dripping wet. Uh, let's f go to the jungle. Vegetation is very dense here. You get through the bushes of vines to spot a friendly steak. Hello, kind sir. Would you like to pet me? Uh, no. Let's go deeper to the jungle. A tall wall rises in front of you. It has a gap, which you can use to get to the other side, but there is a weird fire burning, which blocks your way. Uh, let's walk through the fire. You take a step to the fire and you start burning. You take off your burning clothes, but the fire is like glued to your body. You die a painful death. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, so don't walk in the fire. That's a bad idea. Okay, so swim up. We're at the beach. Uh, let's follow the beach. An archangel stands by the water. I've killed them all so I could go to heaven. I can take you with me if you want. Uh, talk with the archangel. I am lazy, but violence and pain motivates me. If you want me to flap my wings and fly, you need to hurt me. Don't worry, I enjoy it. I need to hurt you. Oh, I think I know. I think I have to kill that guy. Go forward, punch him, kick him, slice his throat, kill him. Now we go back. Okay, follow the beach. Talk with the archangel. Talk with the... Oh! Harder, harder, oh! Harder, oh, baby, yes! Oh, harder, oh, more, more, more! Smack me like one of your French girls! Oh, God, yeah, smack me like one of your French... Mm, oh, God, yeah, one more, oh, uh, okay. All right, I'm... How many times do I gotta click him? Okay, I'm, t I'm done, I'm done doing this thing. Okay, uh, so what now? What do I do with you? Let me see if there's anything here anywhere. I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something big here. Okay, so we have to figure out how to get past the fire. That's the only thing I can think of, is figure out how to get past fire. So I'm going to try to go underwater. Get all nice and wet. And then I'm going to go straight to the fire. And I'm going to see if that helps. So jungle. Deeper. And fire. Ah, I did it! It worked! I am so clever! Alright. 
Crossroads of three paths, swamp, desert, and jungle. You sense like something is hidden here in plain sight. Uh, let's go to the swamp. Swamp. Okay. There's something moving in the back. Swamp smells fecal and sulfur. The stench almost make you vomit. And you have this weird feeling in the back of your head like someone's watching you. Yeah? Yeah, I can totally see stuff. Ah! I maggot scream! Merge in your ears into one ancient word. Heber, heber, heber. Let's keep going. You see a huge snake being. A powerful aura of lust and desire surrounds her. Hello, handsome. Let's play a game. You give me my name and I'll give you his name. Uh, Heber, is your name Heber? Good! Heber laughs. But I lied, I've forgotten his name. We all did, because he did. Maybe Sasada will know. Tell him I've sent you. You can find them in heaven. In heaven? So that's where, okay. Let's go back. Swamp smells fecal and sulfur, blah, blah, blah. Go back. Okay, so I need to figure out how to get... Oh, Jesus, the savior. Looks like you found a secret way to free yourself from this nightmare. Huh? Oh, oh, Jesus, Savior got eaten by evil Paxi? <laughs> what? What happened just now? Okay, well, let's go back. Nonetheless, let's go back. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, so we need to talk to that angel and get him to take us up to heaven. I need to learn somebody's name, I guess. I don't know. Follow the beach. Okay, I've killed them all. Let's just do this. Let's just click really fast. Yeah. Are, his wings are kind of going faster, I think. It looks like his wings are going a little fast. Yep, his wings are definitely going faster. Oh, Jesus, that's what I needed. Let's go. Okay, cool. Got it. You're in heaven, but there is no heaven. Gates are closed, and Sasada guards the entrance. You hear a voice in your head. You've won. Await our arrival. Uh, Heber sent me. Heber is a liar. She forces others to keep her promises. Escalion is the name, but the name lost his owner. Find him and make him remember. Door number six. Cross no other. So I need to remember door six and Escalion. I need to remember his name, Escalion. E S K A L I O N. Okay. Oh, uh, all right. Let's go. And now I can go to the jungle, go through the fire, and then I can go through wherever that other place was that I went to. It was to the left, because the, uh, the swamp's to the right, and somewhere else is to the left. Through the fire. All right, cool. Perfect. Crossroads, three paths, swamp, desert. Desert. Okay, so boom. Wind blows, pushing endless amounts of sand through the world. You're on God's mercy. Keep going. Desert, desert never changes. You've been traveling 176 days. Huh. I don't know how much longer you can endure this journey. Desert, desert never changes. 191. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep going until something, see if something happens after a while of going. 21, 22 years. I'm just going to keep going. Let's see if something happens. 38, 38, 40 years. Ah, I knew it. I knew something was going to go down. You've been traveling for 40 years. Suddenly you hear a powerful voice coming from above. Enough. Keep going. You find yourself on the outskirts of a huge city. Ancient skyscraper are towering above the horizon. Let's go. Something awful happened here. You can smell rotting meat, but no bodies are, are to be found. The city is silent, yet you can feel strong tension in the air. Something's bound to happen. Let's go to the hospital. I mean, hospital is like the go-to place if you want to find people. Hospital is ruined. You spot some movement in one of the windows in the upper floor. Fountain nearby has some black ooze at the bottom. This place gives you the creeps. Uh, let's go inside. Corridor is very cold and thin. There is a trail of blood leading further. The floor is covered with odd-looking worms. I don't- I'm not gonna look at anything, because I gotta find these doors. Oh, there, there's doors. I need to go through door number six. Uh, you enter a small room with three doors labeled 17, 9, and 3. You can sense someone is standing on the other side of each door, waiting. A strong sensation of danger fills this place. Well, it says go through door 6, but there's no- there's a 9. I can- yep, I knew it! I'm so clever you got the go outside the box! Alright, let's go through 6 then. You enter a void of white flames and light. There is a giant being standing before you. Fire shrouds him entirely, yet he suffers no harm. He gazes at something above with arms wide open. Are you God? Being speak with passion, his voice is gentle and warm. Partially, I am everything that's good in him, and I am dying. Say my name. Your name is God's eyes open wider. A shy spark of hope glitters inside. He feels like the time has stopped, and every particle of existence holds its breath, awaiting. Escalion. This, this is. Ah, I was right. I was right. Yes. What is this? Thank you, thank you so very much, because... What's going on? 
This is not a game. I just played that and this is not, this is not a game. Whoa, that's it? Did I beat it? Programming my fingers. <laughs> awesome. Game idea, my boredom. That's so cool. Graphics, my laziness. So that was Antumbra. And I actually beat it. it. said it was a very hard game and it took very much like trial and error. But I guess I kind of learned as I went along to not touch stuff, not mess with, not let my curiosity, curiosity get the best of me and kind of keep my eyes focused on the prize. Like keep those blinders on and know exactly where I want to go because there was an, there was kind of a trend going with story. Like everybody had one thing going on, like know his name, know her name, find this, find that. And it, it all worked out in the end. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Intumbra, amazing game, very good. I loved it, and I feel like there's a lot of secrets in it too, like the Jesus Pac-Man thing. So anyway, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button underneath the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.